Hi, I'm Joel Brooks, owner of Moments in Time Video Productions and a Macro System Americas dealer. Today I will give you a quick demonstration of the Pro Club Special Effects software. Let's get started. I'm in the Bogart main menu. I will select Edit. I've already pre-ingested five HD video clips, 1920 by 1080p. This first demonstration will be talking about the Pro Club Edition 2014. So let's put one clip, I'm gonna choose one clip and put it in the storyboard, and you can access this two ways. First, it'll be the image processing effect, and of course I was already there, but it's found in the T's, it's time code. And it's a neat feature, and of course you can put it in the storyboard, just like an effect, and you can change the fonts to any size. I have my favorites here, I've got extra bold here, the Sans B8 extra bold, and you can adjust the size of it, and position, and this is really neat for putting markers on videos that you don't want someone to use for copyright purposes or whatever. And of course you can preview it and there's, it's a five second clip and you could also render that out. And it's really neat, you can change the style, uh, color, font, anything you want. But it's a really neat effect and it actually burns the time code onto the video itself. A very nice feature. As I mentioned earlier, you can access this new feature uh, in the uh, edit special menu as well. And, access it there. Same thing, same controls. Very nice feature. The next feature available in the Pro Club Edition 2014 is found in the audio record section of Bogart. Select the new sample menu and select sound, cinematic sound effects. They're very nice. So again, a very nice feature, again, as part of this Pro Club software, Pro Club Edition 2014. The third feature available in the Pro Club Edition 2014 is found under New and Pattern in the Image Pool. You have several high resolution maps and images. Now let's talk about the Pro Club Edition 2015. Go to the edit screen. Let's select this map since we created it a few minutes ago. Go to special and then it's at the, just south of the white line. It's called 4x3 border blur. Go to full screen and it's available from 0 to negative 10. And you can just control the uh, amount of squeeze you want to do when you're working with 4x3 footage. So if you want to blur out the edges and to get rid of it, replace the black and so forth with 4x3 footage. So it's a pretty nice effect. Again, this is for working with strictly 4x3 footage, or you could use it with 16x9 footage if you're trying to achieve some sort of an effect. Now let's talk about the Pro Club Edition 2016. Go to the edit screen. I'm going to select two clips for the storyboard. Go to transitions. And in the T's, I already have it there. And of course you select the transition and then you can select uh, the Pro Club 2016 on your image pool. All these masks, you have like 20 masks to choose from. 20 different masks to choose from, They're very nice. We can preview this. Now again, that would be for some like really crazy music video type work. Uh, you have all sorts of effects for colors and shapes and designs. Uh, so again, you can change the colors of, uh, it's like a, it's a tri-color effect is basically what it is. Now let's talk about the Pro Club Edition 2017 features. Go to the edit screen, select any clip, go to special, and in the effects north of the white line, you will see effect called Film Strip CE. This is a very nice moving film strip effect. You can select up to 10 different scenes. So let's start with the first scene, clip one, the next scene, the third scene, fourth scene, and the fifth scene. I only have five clips to work with for this demonstration. But again, you can put up to 10 clips in one pass for one layer here. Now, you can select a template. Now, you can have some really nice effects. Let's select this one right here. 
say OK. You can uh, select the speed for normal, slow, or fast. I'm going to select normal. And you can have pre and post space as it goes along. Very nice effect. I like this effect a lot. Last but not least, the Pro Club Edition 2018, my absolute favorite one. Let's go to the edit screen. Now I've recently created two new clips with the different types of background and contrast for this transition effect. So I'm going to add these two new clips to the storyboard, then go to transitions. And these are, by the way, Animex One backs. They're very good uh, backgrounds for such purposes as this demonstration. Now let's go down to the Pro Club 2018 transition effect. There it is. And of course, I like this so well, I also have it set as my favorite. So let's put the transition in the storyboard. Now, you can preview this. I love that. Now, under the overlays and under the image pool, you will see under the 2018 selection, lots of really cool transition masks. Really nice. And again, I love this. This is one of my favorite ones of them all. So I'm going to select this one again for this demonstration for now. I'll select OK. And I'm going to create. Very nice effects. And you can change it from crossfade to wipe, border widths and things of that nature. Preview it. And of course you can select your effects and your border masks. So again, you have all sorts of things you can play with here. It's a very powerful transition. I really like it. 2018 Pro Club Edition. It's my favorite one of them all. system.